Do you have student loans that you're constantly trying to figure out a way to save for, creating budgets, trying to pay off all your student loans within a certain time frame so that way you're able to meet all the other milestones? A lot of people do, and a lot of people are struggling with this. For those that have outstanding student loans, for whatever degree that you're they're working towards, such debt can be gone in only two ways, forgiven or bankruptcy. Declaring bankruptcy won't even ensure that your student loans will be forgiven because the court has to prove undue hardship to even deter your loans. So you could be declaring bankruptcy, but that doesn't mean that your loans could be taken away. So really the only for sure way that your loans could be taken away is if they're forgiven by the government. Student loan forgiveness could be beneficial to aid those that are in greater need, have advanced economic opportunity, and reduce social inequities that are constantly occurring in today's society. Student loan relief could be targeted to those that who need help the most. Every student with a federal student loan has already completed the FAFSA, which is an application to apply for federal financial aid. That information is constantly being updated and kept on record for the, at the Department of Education, and it could be used to target aid based on any student's economic circumstances at the time of their application. For an example, the Pell Grant is available only to undergraduate students from low and middle income families. As a result, the Pell Grant recipients are usually from poor families and are more likely to be Black and Hispanic students. Student loan debt is also slowing the national economy. Forgiveness would boost the economy, thus benefiting everybody in the economy. Student loan debt slows new business growth and squashes consumer spending. A Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia study found a significant and economically meaningful negative correlation between student loan debt and the falling rate of new small, small businesses. Student loan debt can make it getting a business or being approved for another loan difficult, meaning those with student loans are less likely to open their own business, even if that's what the degree that they got for. From there, the snowball effects take place and things keep occurring over and over and over again. Fewer small businesses means fewer jobs and less economic output and consumer spending, which means lower national income and slow economic growth for the whole country as a whole. When everyone isn't able to participate in the economy, the whole economy suffers as a whole. An economist, an economic, an economist Marshall Steinbaum argues that student debt exasperates racial inequities in only four ways. One, the racial wealth gap means non-white families have a harder time providing financial support to their kids who attend college. Two, labor market discrimination means people of color have been more creden have to be more credentialed to get the same opportunities as what white individuals would go and encounter. Three, people of color face discrimination in the credit market, always, that's been a proven fact of between many studies. And four, Students of color are more likely to attend less resource institutions and predatory colleges because of their costs and because of the unlikeliness of the help that they will get from the government. Black college students borrow more than white students due to family income, generational wealth, parental education, and types of colleges that are attended, just like what I talked about. Judith Scott Clayton, which is a, who is a senior research scholar, states that interest rates and graduate student loans leave black graduates with twice as much debt as white graduates. That equals up to almost $53,000 for four years after graduation. She has also noted that black graduates default on student loans at a rate of 21%, while white graduates only default at 4%. The American Civil Liberties Union has argued that student loan forgiveness would help close the racial gap. Student loan debt has also taken a gen has taken over a generation of more and more Americans each year, preventing them from achie achieving their life my life their milestones like getting married, buying a house, saving for retirement, saving for their kids, having kids. Student loan debt prevented about 300,000 people from buying homes between 2005 and 2014. Those with student loan debts also save half as much retirement by age 30 than those without debt. So those with kids, I can't imagine what their savings would even be minimized to. Forgiving such debt would help foster a healthier, more productive, and more socially constructive lifestyle for all of those in the community. I say we look at the bigger picture. Student loan debt is just detrimental to everybody. Who's with me? Forgive all student loan debt.